Hey guys, for today's shave, I'm using a classic, iconic English shaving cream, and that's none other than Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. Coming right up. Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the channel. You've tuned in for the third installment of my classic shave soaps and cream series. Today, we're featuring one from Merry Old England. There's a really good chance that you have or had a tub of this in your shave den, and that is Taylor of Old Bond Street, and we're looking at the sandalwood cream today. Now, believe it or not, I have never owned a tub of Taylor of Old Bond Street. And you might be asking yourself, John, as a wet shaving degenerate, how is that possible? Well, I did try Taylor of Old Bond Street in the past. Back when I was starting out, I was really intrigued by all the many scent offerings that Tubbs had to offer. And I believe probably through some thread on Badger and Blade, again, this is where most of my interactions were in my early wet shaving days. But on Badger and Blade, uh, on their BST, buy, sell, trade, there was someone selling uh, samples of the various uh, scents of Tobbs. So I must have tried like five or six different ones and Sandalwood was among them. I remember really liking Coconut. Uh, I think there might have been like a lemon or a lime one too, but they were all very pleasant scent wise. I think that's really what Taylor of Old Bond Street does well. Performance wise though, I found it to be like average at best. And around this time too, I think I was branching out into artisan shave soaps as well. So I never did go back and pick up a tub. So fast forward a few years later, I had to add a tub to my shave den and you know check that off of my wet shaving bucket list. But as far as what most of you have probably experienced, it's probably the sandalwood. And then the cream you can see is right here. And a quick sniff off the tub, this is probably unlike, I think most sandalwoods you'll come across, especially if you're into fragrances and whatnot. This, this isn't a straightforward sandalwood. I would say this is more leaning on the cologne side. It's actually quite clean smelling and clean and woody, I think. Clean, woody, masculine. It's probably a pretty good descriptor. You know, I might even say this gives some barbershop vibes, although, I think that term is kind of grossly overused and misused in the, the various forums, Facebook groups, and whatnot. But if it's masculine and clean, I think it can kind of fall into that barbershop category. So we're gonna to get to this in just a little bit. Let me show you what else we're gonna use for today's shave. So for the aftershave, I decided to pair top sandalwood with another really popular sandalwood based scent and that is Pro Rasso Red. I would say between top sandalwood, Pro Rasso Red and probably Art of Shaving sandalwood shave cream or you know whatever scented product, those are kind of the three, three pillars of sandalwood that most wet shavers are going to come across. Uh, maybe not all three but you probably come across one of them. For my razor today, I chose one that's great value. It's not necessarily cheap, but I think there's a lot of bang for your buck, and that is the Razor Rock Game Changer. This one is available with a couple different base plate options. This is the straight bar 0.84 gap of the Game Changer. There's a 0.68 gap, and there's also open comb versions on both of those options. So uh, it's pretty variable, there's different handles, and I believe this razor can be found new for 50 or $60. I'll double check on the website and let you guys know the exact price on that one. And it's also loaded with the Astra SP blade today. And since we're using a shave cream today, I decided why not use one of my shave bowls. So from Pereira Shavery, we have this light but sturdy shave bowl right here. And last but not least for my brush, I decided to go with something that would kind of piggyback off of sandalwood and woods in general, something brown basically. <laughs> Going with Trotter Handcrafts Matte Burnt Butterscotch. And this is with his T1 Badger Knot. Quite soft there. And this has been soaking, so I'm kind of making a mess as I do this. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna load the bowl with a healthy amount. Shea of cream, just scooping with my finger here. I haven't added any extra water besides what was already in the brush, so we can adjust accordingly. Now I am trying to keep my expectations tempered. In my past experience, the performance of this shave cream wasn't anything to write home about, but it got, you know, got the job done. And I think that's kind of the mantra for this classic series in general. Gets the job done as long as there's no crazy irritation due to lack of protection. We're pretty happy with things. I also do want to mention, because discussions come up a lot as far as the sandalwood soaps, or rather sandalwood scents in wet shaving. And I do know those who, you know, whose background culture heavily uses kind of authentic sandalwood, that this Tob sandalwood is kind of a abomination to them. So I do want to acknowledge those folks out there who might be watching this. Guys, if this is your only exposure to sandalwood, uh, don't write sandalwood off. Sandalwood could be something much more deep and rich besides um, what's in the top scent here. That's not to say that the top scent's not enjoyable. I think just depending on what your expectations are, when you see something called sandalwood, everyone has a slightly different idea. And if you have no idea <laughs> and no expectations going in uh, and using this sandalwood cream, then you can just enjoy, sit back and enjoy. And just to reiterate, this top sandalwood scent, I, I would say it's very accessible. It's woody, masculine, clean. Yeah, so I didn't really go and add any more water. I feel like it's pretty leaning on the thin side as it is, just whatever water was in the brush and on my face, that's what we're gonna go with. All right, so first pass with the game changer. All right, so first pass went well. I do say like right here in the bottom of my chin, there is a blemish right there that if you see any bleeding, that's, that's definitely what I hit. Um, some, kind of some notes to share about the Razor Rock Game Changer. Again, it's a really good bang for your buck. And one thing I'd recommend it for is if you are looking for, if you are looking for something more efficient, from your first razor, whether that be you know, like a Procure 34C, Edwin Jagger DE89, or you know, any, any, any other mild razor, the Game Changer 0.84 is a nice step up in efficiency without going crazy. So if any of you are in that camp where you're looking for something that just, I use the word efficiency, it's pretty interchangeable with aggressive, but um, if you're looking for something like that, the 0.84, straight bar, closed comb, razor, is one I would uh, definitely recommend to you. Also, I forgot to mention the price on the Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. It was uh, around $15 on Amazon.com. That's where I picked it up. Okay, now going with the second pass. This is one I have to, I have to be pretty gentle to the touch with against the grain, especially in the neck area. You know, I am pleasantly surprised that the Game Changer just took down like three or four days worth of beard growth very easily. And again, just because of that blemish here, that pimple, uh, we're gonna avoid a third pass, but I don't, I honestly don't think I need it. So let's wrap things up here with the Parasso Red. 
Absolutely love this scent. I would say this, it, even though it's like a, like a masculine cologne vibe to it, there is more, there is more authentic sandalwood going on with, uh, with the Parasso. And because I mentioned it earlier, the Art of Shaving Sandalwood, that one is another cologne take that has some sweetness to it. All right, so let's move into the closing thoughts. Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. Uh, it shares, you know, as far as performance wise, I will say uh, mass produced, you know, commercial shaving creams aren't the slickest of soaps. Again, they get the job done. Post shave feel wise, it's not anything like super buttery or moisturized. You definitely need a post shave product. So, you know, I, I think this is, uh, with this one, even more so than the C.O. Bigelow, uh, I am feeling, or you know, I can notice the differences with changing to artisan soaps um, more so here, just cause of, you know, just even on a basic level, how much more is provided there. But I will say if you're more into scents and you just love a great variety, Taylor of Old Bond Street has some knockout scents. Again, I really like the coconut and another kind of sleeper hit is the avocado. Very pleasant, you know, the aromatherapy aspect is gonna deliver from the Tobbs creams. But as far as performance wise, I would say it's average and when compared again with some of my favorite artisan products, it's kind of below average. Really part of today's video is just to acknowledge those who probably got introduced to Taylor Vol Bond Street and might have just stuck with it, even you know, just all the way through. They buy their tub, they use it, they use the one tub the whole year and just re-up, uh, you know, during December, during the holiday season, they just re-up on their tub of shaving cream. I want to acknowledge the wet shavers that are more that style and less hobbyist. And for that reason, I do believe Taylor of Old Bond Street does belong as a classic. It's probably better experience as you're starting out, but we definitely have tops to thank for just being so easily available. I mean, this soap has been around since probably the 50s or 60s, and again, just the mass market. And really, wet shaving probably would not have had the resurgence that it did um, a decade ago without the help of brands like Taylor Vol Bond Street. But that's all one man's opinion. Do you agree? Do you disagree that Tobbs is a classic? Sound off in the comments below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your busy day for watching this video, joining me for the shave. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lathertalk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy Lather Talk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.